be factually inaccurate, shall we? Because that causes any problem okay. as you enter the ninth hour of your flight. <laughs> Blake, ready for another round of Would I Like to You? I am so ready for more Would I Like to You. Welcome back, guys, and welcome to the oven that is my van today on this very hot day, but hey. Today, we're going to be checking out a, a new contender to the Would I Lie to You space that we haven't seen before, a Miss Sarah Pasco. Name sounds familiar. I think we may have seen her, like, in one of the other clips, maybe asking a random question, but we haven't seen, like, a real, like, central video on her yet, so. Yeah. This video is Sarah Pasco's suspiciously long flight to Spain. <sighs> Suspiciously long flight. Okay, reserve until we hear more. All right, we'll find out some more information. If you didn't catch it in the last couple of videos, we've been hiding a little something in our videos, a little Alex Horn. He pops up in the video somewhere. If you do happen to spot him and you're the first person to leave a comment with the timestamp and where he is in the frame, then I will pin your comment to the top of uh, each of our videos. And uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. I once booked a holiday to Costa Rica because I thought it was in Spain. <laughs> I only realised my mistake when I sat down on the plane. <laughs> uh, where is Costa Rica? It's in... Central America. Between um, <laughs> America and South America. OK. Central America, they call it. Sorry? Central, Central America, America, yeah. yeah. And you realise when you sat down on the plane. Just for context, Spain. Do you, do you know the uh, where Spain is? And I would say Spain. I've been be... there. <laughs> you have, haven't you? I have. <laughs> Don't know where it is. <laughs> it's just below the UK. Like I would think, maybe a half hour flight, maybe an hour flight. I'm not too sure the exact distance, but like this is a like across the <laughs> Atlantic flight. This it'd be a difference between like. A less than an hour flight and maybe an eight to ten hour flight at a rough guess. Like surely when you're booking your flights and it says how long it's going to take to get there. Anyways. Imagine like booking your flight to like Tasmania and you end up going to like Madagascar or something like that. <laughs> like yeah. a long ways away. <laughs> yes. What made you, know, you realise? When you sit down on a plane, it has a chair in front of you, unless you're the pilot, and um, it has a, a little <laughs> square on it with the map that you're going to go on, and it right. says how long the flight is going to be, and this flight said 14 and a half hours. Oh, so oh my God. a lot more time to get that to Spain. That is a lot further back. Right? Suddenly you're a geography expert. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so it had all of the dots, and the dots were going away from Europe to Central America. And who were you with? On my, myself, by myself. And where were you going at the time? Was it a holiday? Um, or... Yes, I was going to do a yoga retreat. And when you booked the flight, mm -hmm. was there no information about the landing time? No, mm. I booked the holiday, and this is bad, on a lunch break on my iPhone while crying. So <laughs> I was paying so little attention. I love how just matter of fact she is there, just, just while, while crying, like no worries. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why you'd be doing that in the first place, like just in, so impulsively. But sure, I guess if you, you really needed that relief. I think I booked a flight to Vegas pretty impulsively once. Were you already in America? No, I, I was here. You were? Okay, okay. I, I, I was here, but I I knew where Vegas was, so <laughs> I, I, I anticipated the flight. <laughs> okay. I'd just broken up with my boyfriend, and um, and I and right. I, the only time I had off work was Christmas and New Year. I decided <laughs> that rather than being sad in the UK, I was going to go away and do something like really healthy. So how did Costa Rica awesome. come into the picture? Well, I was Googling yoga retreats, and when it said Costa Rica... And in like, your Costa mind, Brava, you've always associated Costa, Costa Rica. Yeah, oh, Costa, I see. Yeah, it's Costa Spain. del Sol. Yeah. Costa. Yes. Well, there yes. is a logic to it. Of course. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> turned as if it was them that didn't quite understand that. Rob, I'm going to break yeah. the news gently. You're Rob, the only one in the room the that hadn't actually thought I hadn't, I, hadn't, yeah, I hadn't put two but and Rob, two together. Do you make this mistake all the time? Like when you go to Costa Coffee, do you think that was a lot quicker than that? <laughs> 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 the first time. The first time. Now, what was it like? Costa Rica? Um, because it's not in Spain, there's lots of different... Just throwing it out there. 
We're seeing a flip where we're seeing Claudia asking the questions this time around. The smiling assassin's there. She knows how to pick a liar, so keep your eye on her throughout this game. I just I just also thought of another one. It's like, we go to Costco. How long does that take you to get there? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have my membership card. <laughs> <laughs> not in Spain there's lots of different insects and scorpions that we don't ha have in Europe mm. that we've banished and they've all gone, <laughs> they've all gone to Costa Rica during the what dark insects, ages do you remember tarantulas <laughs> they're not insects they're arachnids so. all right David okay. well, oh, let's be factually inaccurate shall we? because that causes any problem okay. as you enter the ninth hour of your flight <laughs> Spiders are not insects. Costa Rica is not in Spain. Okay, this is I'm why education gonna, I, I, is so important. This <laughs> 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 is daytime now. Question. Do you see not happy. Monkeys? Yes. What kind? <laughs> Black and white ones. <laughs> this has all been noted. Continue. <laughs> did, that, did that help? The Story yes. checks out. Do you remember how you yeah. paid for it? To me, that looked like it was a Claudia confirmation of a true story. Because if you, if someone just said, like, what colour was the monkey, you would probably say, like, brown, maybe. I don't know, like a tinge of orange. I wouldn't have thought your go-to would be black and white. That would be a massive gamble. Yeah, true, true. So that, that was a pretty good confirmation so far. Although, could have been in the brochure when she was accidentally looking it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Very true. On a debit card. Right. Things are going fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not think it's a little bit over the, the Spanish budget? No, I didn't, actually. There's a couple of factors just to take into consideration. Number one, it was over Christmas, New Year, so everything's much more expensive. You were going away for Christmas yeah. on she your just, own to a yoga retreat. Just splits up with a boyfriend. She was crying Oh, girl. Yeah, but you don't, want to be, you don't want to be on your own at Christmas. Oh, don't so this is the classic bride and child. No, it's... <laughs> I've got yeah. a flat in the centre yeah, of town. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Is she telling the truth? I, I'm yes for this one. How about you? Yeah, I think I think I am too. If you stopped and thought about the original statement, that does seem like a crazy thing to like make a mistake and book something on the other side of the world. But everything she said was so matter of fact, and like mm. it didn't feel like a stretch at all. And it was that Claudia confirmation of the monkeys that really sold it for me. Um, the host said, like, oh, as if you would go overseas for Christmas. Isn't that pretty common? Like, I, I know a lot of people that just go away on... Yeah, no, his emphasis was alone. Like, mm. oh, you would go away for Christmas by yourself. Like, that's yeah. the odd thing, not going away. But, like, <laughs> that was just mean. Like, but, I, again, I don't think he was paying attention to the start at all because, like, he made that mistake of um, not making the connection of Costa Rica and Spain. And he also was just so rude to her when she clearly said it was because she broke up with her boyfriend. So, all right, two truths from us. Yeah. And I think I think if Claudia says truth, like that's enough for us to know it's a truth, but um, we'll find out. Because I'm sure she's going to be able to get this. I've got a few problems with this. I think you can oh. get there faster than 14.5 hours. Mm. And they and there are howler monkeys everywhere. That's why I asked the monkey question. Uh, are they thought, black and white? No. Oh! Okay. Howler monkey. Sort of, I'm going to say, russet. You used to be russet, didn't you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> guy hasn't said a word the entire segment. He just <laughs> cops a harsh one from Lee. <laughs> like, what have I done to you? <laughs> Lee's like, I'm going to include this guy by insulting him. <laughs> that was a zinger. I like that. I think we're about to be proven wrong. If Claudia is not siding with us, we're in trouble. No, I need to hear more. I, I feel like that's not concrete. <laughs> Certain areas, still a bit. <laughs> 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 I get, I don't, what do you think? I actually now think it's a lie. I'm with you. We'll go lie. So, Sarah, was it true or was it a lie? It was true. Oh! Yeah. We beat Claudia. She should have listened to us. Finally, we beat her. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Let's salvage this moment. <laughs> we can beat her at someone else's game, just not her own. It makes for a great story, though, accidentally booking a flight to... Because I guess they're both international flights. But, mm. um, yeah, booking just going to Central America, where she may have never been before. Although, with the tarantula comments and stuff, sounds like she didn't have the best time. But, hey, makes for a great story. Absolutely. And it's the kind of thing that, you know, for a brief moment, 
you'd be panicking. But after that panic subsides and settles a bit, you'd just be filled with excitement. And it's not like she booked a um, a retreat in Spain and went to Costa Rica. She went to where the retreat was. So she's yeah. still going to what she wanted to go to. Yeah. I would assume the weather would be relatively similar as well. Like that. So yeah, I think overall, it wouldn't be too much of a disaster. You could completely embrace it and just make it a great situation. So yeah, good on her. As always, we really enjoyed that one. So please let us know by hitting the like button if you also enjoyed that too. And if you did find little Alex Horn, let us know where he was by putting the timestamp and where he is in the frame in the description. If there are any other Would I Lie to You clips that we should be checking out, let us know in the description below. And if you want to see any more of our reactions to Would I Lie to You, then hit on that playlist just up there. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye, guys.